Okay, what's up with these pen cases? Okay, so some things that I did not understand about these when I ordered a couple of them for my niece's birthday and she loved them and I got her more of them and I got my other niece some. So I ended up buying all kinds of these all summer and this is just actually about half of what I ended up buying. So what I've learned is there's two sizes, standard, this is standard right here, and then there's big, and they'll be marked big size, big size, big, big. And you gotta kinda pay attention. If you're buying these on Amazon Japan, you gotta look for large or big in the description. And because it's translating from Japanese to English, you gotta pay attention. The other thing is there's limited editions. So this is a limited edition. It's gonna be a little more expensive typically than the other standard editions. This one is the most expensive. This is the one that seems like everybody's after and it's hard to get. You'll see some pretty high prices on these. Um, Jet pens in the USA had the best price on this limited edition standard size. I don't think jet pens had any of the large size. I had to go to Amazon Japan to get all of the larger sizes. I'm pretty sure that that's still accurate. You're gonna have to check it out. Jet pens gets different stock all the time. Check them out. I don't have any affiliation with jet pens. I do have affiliate links in the description for these products on Amazon Japan. They can be a little bit hard to find. Large and small size, be aware of that. Limited editions are gonna be higher priced, harder to find. And then what do you do with them? Okay, so what do you do with them? All right, these have a place to put an eraser. The small one is 55 millimeters in diameter. And then they have this pop out, pop in bottom. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. The larger one is 65 millimeters inside diameter and also holds an eraser. So what you do is you take some pens, such as the Pentel Multi-8 selectable color pencil, a Stabilo, a Delgard, a Sarasa, Monograph Multi, a combination a mechanical pencil and pen. This is a mechanical pencil. This is my favorite pen, the UniJet Stream. Put all those in there. You can even throw in. Uh, you can even throw in this scissors, which is in the same line of products, the Puni Labo. You put all that in there, and then pull that down so that everything fits. You can see that it's at that level. Okay. And then you carry it with you in a pack get to your destination, you go like that, okay? So that's what they're for. Now, the question is, how much can you fit in these, okay? So this is the six, the large one is a 65 millimeter diameter. The small one is a 55 millimeter diameter. How many of the Posca can you fit in here? So you can fit looks like six, seven, eight to me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, nine is pretty tough versus six Posca pens. The seventh is possible, but pretty, pretty tight. It starts to, starts to push on the zipper and then you can push the bottom down. Um, and then you can get, you know, like, like I said, six, six is more realistic for these larger Posca pens because um, it's already kind of deforming the circle shape. And then the zipper gets a little, a little difficult to go. It goes, but um, so that's six Posca pens in that one, just for the sake of size. I don't think that's a good way to carry the Posca pens, but this is probably a more standard average size marker. So this is 12 markers. 
Okay, those all fit in there. The bottom pops out, the lid goes shut. Okay, you get to your destination, you go like that, and you can see your, your pens. Okay, um, whereas you can fit 12 of those in there, plus the scissors, plus another multi. This is uh, four plus one, so it's four colored inks and a mechanical pencil with an eraser on top. This is an eight colored lead pencil. And then my favorite is the jet stream. And this one is full. Okay, so that's about how much you can fit in that one. So let's look at another brand of marker that's very popular. I'm gonna show you the Stabilo and the Click Art. The Stabilo are very thin, so Stabilo come in two, basically two sizes. Uh, the 88 fine liner, that's a very fine tip. And this is a set of 25. And then here is a set of 30 uh, 68s. So Stabilo 68, these are a larger, a larger tip than the, than the 88 fine liners. And this is 30 pens. So let's see if you buy these kits, are these gonna fit in these? Because these Stabilo markers are longer. I think these are about the longest markers that I've seen. Okay, so here's, here's the Stabilo marker. Here's the Zebra. You know, if you, you look at any of these and these Stabilos are longer. Now, so that is a, that's the full set of 30 pens. So 30 Stabilo pens fit in here. You can see here, the height is the same. The diameter is different, but because the diameter is different, you have a larger overall size because this, di this diameter is also higher. It's also greater. But 30 Stabilo pens, do they fit in the standard? If I push that down, can I get the lid on? So 30 is pretty full on the standard size. Boy, it's not, because of the tapering of this, it's not wanting to close. So I would say you can probably force it. You can probably get it to go. Let's take 10 out. Two, four, six, eight, 10. So I'll we'll take 10 of those out. Okay, so we've got 20, 20 Stabilos will fit in here like that. So I got 20 Stabilos. I could probably fit a little bit more. Maybe uh, let's put in the eight. Let's put in the jet stream. And uh, okay, and, that, and that'll, that'll work. That's in there. Carry it, you go go like that and that'll work, all right? Okay, so back to the other one. So we had a full set of 30 Stabilos in here, but I didn't answer the question, how many can you fit in the large one? So, so 30, now I'm gonna go and grab, I think I can fit 10 more. So two, four, six, eight, 10. Let's put 10 of these uh, Stabilo 88s. Okay, so that's 40. 40 of the Stabilos in there. I gotta make sure it's, that's getting pretty full right there because now what's happening is, you know, when you push down on the sides, you're getting this, uh, I don't know how good that is to do. I would say, I would say 40 is probably 
pretty much your max in the large size. 40 Stabilos. Let's look at the Energel. These are really nice pens. How many of these can we fit in each size? These pens are so nice. These Energel are just beautiful. So now we've got clips. We've got a bit of a larger diameter. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So I fit 15, this is 15, 15 of the inner gel. And I, I don't even have to elongate the bottom. Okay, so 15, how many more can I fit in there? 15, 16, 17, uh, I could probably, yeah, putting more than 17 of these Energel in here is really squeezing it. So that's going to be no, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got ten. Yep, and I have to punch the bottom down because it won't close. So now it's closed, so I've got 10 of the Energel in there. I think, that's, I think that's a good illustration of what you do with these and what fits in here. So makeup, not the exact intended use. So this one, this one I gave to my wife, I let her pick. So then she is putting makeup in here. And then this is another product. This is also going to come up uh, when you do a search on Puni Labo. So you're going to get all kinds of different, they make a short one of this, they make little flat ones, they make a bunch of different sizes and shapes with these different character faces on them. And uh, this one, my wife is putting makeup items in this. You know, they make a more uh, grown up stylish fashionable type of pen case. These are pen cases, not makeup cases. My wife is just using them that way. And, and they also have the bottom that pops out and pops back in. Um, one thing I noticed about the, this oval shape is, is that when you open the lid, it tends to get heavy and it wants to tip. Okay, this isn't doing too bad, but just be aware that this oval shape doesn't necessarily stand up as nicely as these other shapes do when you're setting them on a counter. They also make these ones that lay flat. So these can go, then they can lay flat. And my wife, you can see, is not using these as a pen case. She has her makeup in there. And then that's how, that's how these are. I'll put links for all these items in the description. Let's try these, this fancy eraser. I realize I didn't even open this thing. So in editing, I realized I didn't even open this eraser. Whoops. Okay, well, this, yeah. Well, I didn't plan on using this as a gift and I'm definitely not gonna use it as a gift now. So it's made in Japan by Pentel. It's very flat. It's got a kind of a weird texture to it. Hmm. It's not what I was expecting. Wow, it's, it's rough. It's coarse. Hmm. You know, I, 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 I guess maybe I'm ignorant. Maybe I don't understand what this was specifically designed for maybe it has a there's a maybe there's a reason why it feels as coarse as it does if anybody knows feel free to comment but i don't like this i don't like that eraser uh let's take a look at these erasers here
yeah, the, these are, these are nicer. Plastic eraser. Oh yeah, these are way better. Yeah. Yeah. This was, this was the quality I was expecting from this one. So now these erasers fit in here. So these fit in the large size Puni Labo Lehit Labs pen cases. Okay, one more. I wanted to do the click art. So this is 36 colors. These click arts are a little bit, I think the diameter is slightly larger than the Stabilo. They don't really have a clip on it. These are really nice markers. So let's see, can we fit a full set of 36? Nice thing is the click art in some kits like this 36 color kit, this one is ready to go by itself, but they don't always come in this nice case. So how many of the set of 36? We've got 27 in here. 27 of the click art, uh, 28. Uh, yeah, okay, you can go, tw well, let's see here. Why can't we go 30 then? Okay, 30, we can fit 30 in here. So we can fit 30 of the click art. I got 17 of the click art in there. And then those will fit in there. Uh, no, 18 gets to be a little, a little much. 17 fit in here, 30 of them fit in here. So you can see that gives you a good idea of the difference that that 10 millimeters of diameter makes when you're trying to decide, should I buy the big size? Should I buy the standard size? Um, hopefully that helps.